And audience, I tried to tell her it was time to start taping, but she went to wardrobe. Wardrobe? But you have her costume right there. I know, ma'am. She said this was all wrong. She wanted an updated look, more pizzazz for the leading lady. What? Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, we're having a little trouble with her. Mrs. Spielman. <laughs> I'm ready for my close-up. This side, fellows, it's my camera-friendly side. Paige, where'd you come from? Where is Lisa? Lisa is supposed to be married. Break a leg. Someone told her to break a leg, and she did. I tried to help, ma'am. I called 1-800-BIG-STAR. And they said they had just a star we needed. What? That's right, ma'am. They said that they had a leading lady who could even add her expertise. This side, folks. My contract specifies that I can only be shot with a soft lens. It captures my radiance. Remember? He surely signed our agreement. Notice clause 56. I need my own gentleman with a big star. Number 57. Being a star, I do not follow animals or children. So can you say we The kids in the major scene must go. And number 58. Spaghetti. Lots of spaghetti. My dear friend Sophia Loren taught me something valuable when she said, all I am, I owe to you. I mean, no children in no manger scene at Christmas. And what with the spaghetti? She's clearly overestimating the power of pasta. Paige, <laughs> get her back out here, please. Now, Cass, just stay calm. I've seen this before. We just gotta get a few things straight. Ladies and gentlemen, bear with us, please. In a few moments, we'll have the cameras rolling again. You called? Yes, Sophia. Regardless of your contract, the spotlight and this show is on our savior, Jesus. That's all about him, humbling himself and being born on earth. The children of I have learned that we must also humble ourselves if, we're used, if we want to be used by God in the show or in life, period. Sophia, sit. Children, would you sing her our warm-up song? Oh, ho, ho, they really get down on this one.
and the kids stealing the limelight. I, I told you, I don't work with kids for this very reason. The darlings upstage me. Sorry, Mrs. Spielman, I guess we got carried away. Sophia, the kids and the major scene are staying, and that's final. The author would want it that way. Well, clear out of my way. Now look, I've been a lot of really big shows, and I mean really big, and believe you me, I know how it's done. And I have never heard of this humble yourself, get down and then you're up thing. Miss Sophia, think of a seesaw. One side is down, and that's the human side. But when you humble yourself and realize how much you need God, he, we can do anything God wants us to. Um, Miss Sophia, can, can you act humble? Of course I can act humble. I can fake anything. You want humility? Well, then show me the money. Well, you can't fake humility. God knows our hearts. Just stop it, Sophia. Stop it. Stop all the acting and pretending. Just look in the mirror. Can you live with yourself? Sophia, I was just like you. And one day, I had to stop all the games. I stopped pretending and got real. I stopped the acting and revealed. I needed much more than hearing encore. I needed more and more than your applause. Pretense, he said to be. Jesus is born to light the way. Jesus was with me every day. And it's dark all the heat. And it's dark that you see. But that the star is born inside of me. Jesus, the star, was born in me. And me. can ask him to reveal to give How about you, Sophia? Mrs. Spielman, if you want Mary, I'll give you Mary. Just give me her necessary information. I need to develop my character. Now, was she naive, glamorous, royalty? Give me her character description. Well, Mary was a young, humble, and righteous girl who... Not the humble thing again. Mary was chosen to be a leading lady because she knew a God and followed his ways. 
And we develop our character by learning to walk and talk like Jesus. You see, he's our example. So you want me to be like this baby? That's right, it's over here. Just look in the Bible, you find all the answers. become like Jesus. I'm an actress in a play. Now let's get going and let me act. Whoa, Sophia. Whoa, right there. Whoa to you. Now, I'm sorry. We just won't be needing you to play Mary after all. What? What's that supposed to mean? Jesus said, woe to you, you hypocrite, seven times. Sophia, do you even know what a hypocrite is? It means one acting a part, a character in a play. Now, the Bible warns us about hypocrites, Sophia, and he doesn't want us to have anything to do with them. Now, I'm sorry. You just don't have the right, the right attitude to play Mary. Never, never in all my shows. You know we have a contract. I am to be a star. Well, I can't just allow you to walk out of here. But my contract states. We, we think that Sophia would be a great star. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea, girls. Sophia, why don't go, you go with these lovely young ladies to wardrobe and they'll fix you right up. Well, finally. Now remember, girls, I have to wear something bright and glittery. Of course. Mrs. Spielman, what are we going to do? The critics will be here. And they're, they're going to give us terrible reviews without Sophia. They're expecting her, ma'am. Well, then that's just the price we're going to have to pay, Paige. Now look, God has given us a marvelous chance to share this with the audience. We need to take a stand and be I faithful do. servants. I'm not out after it's two right. thumbs up from right. Cisco and Ebert. That's what God thinks that counts to me. When my time on earth is done and I stand before the sun, Child, well done. The little child. 
my review, Lord, my life's review. <coughs> Did I help a friend or two to come to you? Did I live a life that you'd get glory through? <coughs> I will rejoice when I hear your voice saying, well done, my child. One. It's a Christmas classic. We're rolling. Give it a new twist, a little greed and pride. 
It's just too boring. We come in, set our gifts down, and then we're out of here. <laughs> boys, boys, we're the three wisest men. Sophia suggested that we ham it up. <laughs> Sophia. And we thought about it, Mrs. Spielman, and we think she's right. We want our times in the center stage, too. Yeah! <laughs> boys, boys, we're the three wise men. Don't be fooled. You listen to her, now you're acting like her. But we're going to do it the way it's written, right here in the Bible. Now let's review. The wise men searched for the star, and when they found it, they were overjoyed. <laughs> yes, they were overjoyed to find the star, which would lead them to the Christ child. And next they worshipped him. Yes, they worshipped the baby for who he was, their savior, and out of joy. Then they presented their gifts. Remember what we learned earlier? And if the Lord alone, the Lord alone is lifted up, is lifted up, he will draw amen, will draw amen to him, to the sun, to the Well, Herod couldn't stop God's plan, and she won't stop us. Your heart was in the right place. But, and that's what God sees. But, you know, there's something that you can do. What, well, Mrs. Spielman? Ask anything. Paige, would you be merry? But I'm just a backstage. You know the part, and you've been a faithful stagehand. So what do you say? Lord servant, and if this is how I can serve, of course I will. Oh, that's great. You know what, Paige? Your answer. That's just what Mary said when angels came and told her she was giving birth to Jesus. Yes, yes, that's right. Um, Mary knew that God would see her through, and Paige, he'll see you through too. Now go on, hurry, go get ready. Are the shepherds and wise men ready? Okay, really, we're ready. Now I watch behind the scenes, and we've taken care of a few small matters. And now, we probably present to you our Christmas special, A Star is Born!
the prophets promised, the star was seen, leading straight down to earth, leading the shepherds and wise men to a small village called Bethlehem. In They found Mary and Joseph laying at a humble stable because there was no room for them in the end. The baby Jesus was wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. It was an ordinary time to our Savior was born there. His light can change our ordinary lives into something extraordinary, even just now, even today. that he would send his son Jesus, our hero, down to earth to save his people from their sin. For unto you, a star is born. Spaghetti. 